Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here, welcome to the catacombs. It's a lovely place where we got Limp Biscuits fans all over the place. And there was a too many S sounds in that sentence right there. So essentially, I think this is the way we're supposed to go, but these skeletons are having way too much fun just rolling, 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 yeah. Oh! Ratty Roos. Hey Ratty Roos, stay right there. Stay right there. Stay right there. Yay! Triple kill. Good job. Ball of bones. Boom. So I have no idea what we can expect down here. I switched into the cell sword armor just for variety's sake. Oh, we have one of those guys over there. At least that ball seems to not want to bother me. And that's very good. Let's see if we can't take care of business. Now, I must warn you, it's very early. This is pretty much the first thing I, I've done after properly waking up, so... I'm still a bit tired. And hopefully that won't show in my commentary or my skills, but it might. Uh, just say that we see a lot. But you gotta... grasp the day. Or whatever they say. Oh! Ooh! 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 Huh. Why is there a message behind this guy? Suspended bridge is wearing thin. So it seems. Pushy! Pushy! Don't tell me I have to cross that. Oh, we're in for a bad time. So many skeletons are gonna reanimate in here. Just you wait and see. Alright, that's one. If you guys can just come at me in an orderly fashion, one by one, that would be very good. I love this. Hiding behind my little shield. Isn't that adorable? Yes, it is. <laughs> Nervina's such an adorable little girl. Okay. Uh, can I wake a few more? Black bug pellets. That didn't wake any. There we go. We'll just do it one by one, I think. And nobody else. Huh. Oh, just two of them? I was honestly expecting more of an ambush. Maybe I misjudged you. Let's pull this. Hmm. This looks like the path that we had the limp biscuit boulders. Oh, there's one boulder right there. And it's up. And it's going. Ooh, I'm not sure if it's pattern yet though. That's part of the issue. Where is it? It's rolling. Okay, so that's just rolling back and forth there. Good to know. <laughs> Up to butt. Good job, Nirina. Yeah. Alright, let's just explore then. That boulder doesn't seem as scary as I thought. But let's try to actually get out of the catacombs this episode, huh? Doesn't that... S <gasps> oh no, we have the bonies. The skeleton wheels. Oh gosh. Oh, okay, another one. Oh, what was that? More of them. Okay, sure, if you insist. I think I'll do a little bit of this then. And you survive with just a little bit of HP because you want to be infuriating. Boom. It's a good way of taking care of them. Say goodnight. Pokey. Pokes. So these guys are pretty infamous in Dark Souls because everybody hates them. They uh, they also like to do the rolling, 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 rolling. Just no slimes drop on me now. 
I didn't get the backstab, but whoa, rolling bone wheel skeletons coming to get me. Oh, oh, there we go. Boom, boom. Just keep our eyes open down here. We'll be just fine. Just take it slow. Just one, one step at a time. Here, bone wheel shields. That's a fun one. Uh, maybe this is not the time to be inspecting it. Are there any more slimes in the roof? Ugh, I can't be bothered to be looking up in the roof constantly. I hear walking. Yeah. Oh, I just pushed him over. I feel kind of bad now. Oh. Hey there. Boop. 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 Fire orb. Okay, we're clearing them out. Heather. Yeah, maybe we'd want to take care of them. Boom, check that out. No ambushes for me. I ain't gonna die a single time today. Mark my words. Boo's rolling invincibility at the cost of defense. How much defense? Oh, wow. It lowers a lot of my absorption, it seems. Boost rolling invincibility. Like, quite a lot as well. Like, it has some of them, and others it just takes from like 16 magic to 3,000. Th I get minus to lightning absorption? Okay, that seems to be a bit too severe for me. I mean, more iframes when rolling is good and all, but no thank you, actually. I'm not that desperate for that extra. Those extra roll frames. But cool. We got that thingy, we can move along. Ugh. Doesn't this place just... Mm, it just screams Monday morning, doesn't it? Yep. That's this place in a nutshell. Do, 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 do. Huh, what's up this staircase, I wonder? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I have too much fun. Okay. So we have this little staircase right here, which leads upstairs. Oh! Dude, that's a fancy hat you had! Oh, I saw the archer, but I thought it was like a puny archer. These guys are not really puny, that's not the word I would use to describe them. I'm trying to get behind this guy. It's kind of difficult. Let's zip up there. It's a close call. Let's just explore the rest of the area down here. So you're dead, so I, I killed you. I'm trying to figure out where I came from. I believe I came from here. So we came in here. Did we? Did we? I'm so lost. I'm lost in the catacombs. Ah, let's just heal up a little. Yeah, because if this is the area with the bridge, then yeah, this is the area with the bridge. So have I essentially been running in like a big circle? Oh, like I yeah. Okay, so I open this. Okay. So let's go. Let's go back upstairs and face the and face the baddies. Dark gem. Get out of here, mud crab. Thanks for the health. Oh, right. Sorry, I almost forgot about you. Damn. This guy's going to town. I usually don't struggle with these guys, so why is he killing me? I wish I knew. Oh well, now that we have some more open space, it should be a bit easier. Oop. Bam. I have to remember that I can stagger them, so I should be more aggressive. Boom. Like that. And he can't even complain about it, because he's too tired from being staggered. Hoo. That's how we do it. Useless Titanite. Yeah. Ooh. Alright. Let's do a little heal. Cause I don't know what a, what awaits me. Oh, there's like an archer here. I want to rush. Uh, 
Ja. Nope. Oh. Right, there's a trap there. We'd want to avoid that trap. So it seems like they just reactivate whenever you do it once. That's spooky. Let's heal up. Hello, hello. How you doing? How you doing? Woo. Nope. Don't think so. And I'm behind you. I like that little obscure roll. Makes me feel like a ninja. Grave Warden's Ashes. Oh, that's good. That's more ashes that I can give to the handmaid at Firelink. Boom. Yeah. Oh, nice one, huh? You trying to beep me? Well, you may try. You're allowed to try, but you will not succeed. What is down here? Is this just another... Oh. That's an illusory wall. Nice. But this is not where we're supposed to go. Let's go to the other side. It's so dark and quiet down here. <gasps> Large tide <of> night. <coughs> Getting them tit shards. Tit shards, best shards. This also leads down here. Let's sip up. I saw some guys over here. Alright, can I actually get across? <laughs> Maybe, but that was a terrible roll. What was... I, was, I heard my own uh, footsteps and I was like, what? Has the ball stopped rolling? Where's the ball? Ball? Why? Okay, so this leads back here. Okay, so I essentially explored... Okay, that's interesting. To rest or not to rest? I say not rest. We need to find the next bonfire. We need to make progress. If we just respawn everything, we're gonna have to re-kill everything. No, this was not... I'm, I'm so lost. I am really so lost. Well, let's, let's, let's try and figure out what the deal is with the bridge. Nope, 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 nope. I'm not crossing that bridge. Even if there's a whole skeleton army. I knew that looked fishy. I knew that looked so fishy. But I'm not doing it. Try catching me now. Haha. -ha. Yeah, I'm not running across that bridge. Screw that. It probably would have made for a funny scene, but... Fall bridge. Why is the bridge not falling? I was so sure it was going to fall. Ah. Go, 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 go. Open. Um, don't mind the skeleton army behind you. They just want to be friends. Go. So many of them. Touch the goblets? Is that the goblet of fire? What? What? Where? What? Why? How? Oh, this is a boss. Why am I in the abyss? Can I 
I just go this way? I'm just gonna go this way. Yay, look at this. There's no way out, is it? I have to go there. Well, it's obvious what's gonna happen once I do, but I think I might have to. I not stocked up on items for this. There's the other hand. Hello. There's the Grave Lord. Dodge. Okay, let's figure out how you operate, shall we? Oh! Well, that was really fast. That was super fast. That caught me off guard. Okay, so... Oh, what is that? Okay, so I guess don't be close to him when he does that. Hi, Lord Volnir, huh? Yeah. Maybe once upon a time you were actually a man of importance. Not anymore! Oh, oh, okay. As a sore spot, apparently. He's still, uh, yeah. It's a difficult subject for him to talk about. Hopefully he kills his own minions. Uh, he does, he seems to already do that a lot, but... There's more of them, if you want to kill them. Dodge! Okay, so far, so good. Even though he's taking like 10% 10, 10 damage, if even that. Oh, gosh. I hate fighting minions together with the boss, it's infuriating. Especially skeletons. What is this, Nito? Is this Nito 2.0? Uh oh. You are nothing on Nito. Nito was a freaking badass, dude. What are you? Nothing with your ugly golden bracelets. Who made that? Your girlfriend? Oh. Alright, another uh, touchy subject, apparently. Yeah. I feel like I'm not aggressive enough. Oh, wow! I broke one of his chains. I wonder how pyromancy is gonna work out. That seems like dangerous stuff. It damaged the skeleton severely. Huh. Too far. Well, it does about the damage you'd expect, I guess. So it's hopeless to hit him there. Dodge. Boom. So we gotta get these bracelets off. I have to help him forget about his ex. So I have to remove the memories of her. Which appears to be the golden bracelets. That's canon now. Ow. Oh, he summoned the bone wheel skeleton. He's a jerk. Okay, so we have to kill the bone wheel. He's coming. Do you see that? I totally hit him with my spear at least three times. Nothing happened. Oh, I've run out of FP to heal. And again, I came into this fight with like two Estus. And we've gotten him down about halfway just on the limited resources. So I feel pretty good about this. I mean, I don't think we're gonna make it. Fatality. Yeah. He has like some sort of curse, or not, not even curse air, but just like dark magic surrounding his, surrounding his chest. That's to symbolize the love that he now has for, for his ex. Well, I believe we should go get back there. I, I'm not gonna cross the bridge. I'm sorry. I don't have the balls. I'm gonna take the safe route. All right. Take two. Whoop. It does like a double grab. Just poke this as much as we can. Then it's gonna do a slam and we're gonna roll. We're gonna damage it again. 
And that's one ring done relatively quickly. The main problem seems to be like when he starts spawning enemies, it gets a bit chaotic and trying to sort of keep everything organized is difficult, but he's definitely very doable. But I don't think I've actually... Fatality. Oh. It's so subtle. The smoke down there is so subtle. Okay, so just stay away from... Stay away from there. I'm looking at this bridge though and I'm like, it's definitely gonna collapse, but there are items down there. So I think I'm gonna equip a ring of sacrifice and let's do it. Cause I, I am curious. I want to see how it all goes down, so... There we go! It actually didn't break? Oh, wow, okay, I'm surprised. I just... I was not risking that the first time around, I'm telling you that much. So we should go over here. Get our souls and try this guy again. Okay, well, near. so you, it seems like you have a bit of a temper, and I can't help but wonder that maybe this is why your last relationship didn't really work out. Now, I like to think that Nirina is sort of, you know, she, she knows her way around, guys. Like, she has some dating advice that you might benefit from, so let's just take this slowly, step by step, and try and figure out where you went wrong, huh? I think it was the part where you turned into, like, a crazy necromancer, psychopath, skeleton king? That could be, like, where the problem started. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, so yeah, okay, I think we're on the right track. Ooh, he, oh, he takes me all up against the wall. I also think you're a bit too bold on your first dates. Because I don't think most girls appreciate being pushed up against the wall like that. I mean, some, some are into it, I've definitely noticed that, but... You need to just calm it! It's, he's not dead, right? He's coming back. Oh, wow, he was easy. <laughs> Wow. Ooh, okay. Uh, done and done. Good job, Nerina. And the path is open. Alright, there we go. Got ourselves an ember, got ourselves a new soul, and a new bonfire. Isn't that excellent? And we have quite a lot of souls now, so let's go back to Fire Link. But first, I want to stop by the Cleansing Chapel, because some of you pointed something out. That if we go out here... Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Anyone at all? Oh. Hello? I know that voice. Just how long has it been? It's me! I thought that was your voice. I'm loath to admit it, but I've been had. Someone's swiped my arm. Patches. Did you happen to see it anywhere? No, but I know I know where it is though. No, but I, I need to get the patches. Oh. Yes. I see. Not to worry. Great planning begets great fortune. An old tenant of the Knights of Katarina. And I am a master planner, I do say. Ha 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 Is there anything I can do for you? I'm in quite a pickle indeed. Maybe I can fashion a replacement from uh, him there. I want to see Naked Sigurd. I've got to use my head and think. 
We're just gonna be do nothing. Okay, I guess we can't really do anything there yet, but I'm sure the time will come where we can. We gotta get the armor back from Patches. Screw you. Now we're gonna go back to Firelink. Hey, girl. Actually, bye-bye, girl. Huh, she could still heal the Dark Sigil? That's weird. But my Halloween seems to be cured, so maybe that option just stays there. Now, hello. Let's see what we can get from the new soul. Black Serpent, release undulating black flame that runs along the ground. Well, that requires a lot of faith and intelligence. Volnir's Holy Sword, and I could get myself a great sword with this. Okay, that's interesting, but again, not something I will use, so I might pop it. Depends on how many souls off from a new level we are. Welcome. So let's see what we can do. Well, let's level up. About 6,000 souls, yeah. I'm gonna get more vigor. And then... We're gonna pop. We're gonna pop a boss soul. And this. Yeah. Pop it. Well, Level good. up. Oh, that almost gives me. Oh, it does, actually. Okay, so two levels. Boom. That insane vigor, though. Nothing's gonna be able to kill me now, I tell you that much. Aha! Oh, I should just pop this too. Oh, I got some new ashes for you. Do you want them? Gracious. Passing fine ash thou hast given. Let this ash bestow nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> What new wares do you have? What seems to be new? Um, hmm. I'll probably remember it when I... Oh, okay, so you sell some sorceries now? Well, that's interesting. Okay. Oh, Undead Legion gear. Ho ho. That's quite cool, actually. Oh, well, good to know that you sell that now. But I don't think we have enough to upgrade anything at all, sadly. All right, I found a pyromancy tome. That's right. I'm afraid I cannot accept this. This pyromancy tome is dark and delves into the depths of men where an untouchable flame resides. I cannot comprehend this myself. Let alone teach it to you. It is a spell forbidden in the Great Swamp, and nearly everywhere else too. Only one terribly afflicted or burdened by deep sorrow could begin to understand this. Interesting. Gonna need two more large shards. That's how it works. Well, Let's let's get out of here. We have a new area to explore and we have so much so much vigor. Oh yeah, look at that bar. Let's go then. What's behind door number one? There are items that I've passed by and and such in the catacombs already, but it's okay. Oh, wow, 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 Oh, my gosh. Oh, I'm gonna take this on a date. Look at that. I've dropped like 20 frames. That's how beautiful it is. Yeah. So here we are in the Boreal Valley. This is gonna be great. Good fun times for everybody, and no death at all. Oh, we made it through the catacombs, all right. Now we gotta make our way downtown. Oh, wow. I wonder if we can cross this bridge safely or not. 
bring a doll to be granted passage. Well, wouldn't you know it, this is one of the things that I picked up in the last one, but I never checked it out. It's a small doll. In the legendary old city of Irithil, situated in the Boreal Valley, the Pontiff Sylveon gave this doll to valued subjects so that they might use it across the barrier when they return home. And that's exactly what we got, so... Now... I figured... There's never a bridge without any enemies. Whoop! Hey there, Mr. Alligator! Huh. I didn't dodge that or correctly, I guess. Okay. Whoop. You kinda frighten me just a little bit. Fate. And I become dinner! Ah! Okay, how do we want to defeat you then? Rump. Damn, you are vicious. Do I even want to defeat you right now? Maybe I would want to just retreat, because you're kind of kicking my ass. These attacks are so difficult to dodge. Boom. He has a decent amount of health too. Maybe I wouldn't want to fight him. Maybe I'd be better off running away. Huh. Do I want to fight you or do I not want to fight you? Poke. Poke. Oh. Still learning his... Fatality. How did that kill me? What even happened? Just being near him might take damage. I think you like need me in the crotch or something. No, 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 you're not allowed to fade into the mist and then come back with full health. Come on. Okay, at least he comes back with the same amount of health. It's to prevent people from cheesing him over there. I'm okay with that. As long as they don't heal him again. And it means that there's a place I can back up if I need a break. Which I might need right about now. Fatality. Come on now, you big old bastard. Let me see what you're really made of. Yeah. Stab it! Stab at the hearts of the enemy. Pontiff's right eye. I already have Pontiff's left eye, so what's the right eye gonna do? Boost attack as long as the attacking persists. So I would guess that with like a spear, and I'm like, poke, 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 I'm gonna do more damage per hit. That sounds pretty good, actually. I had to get my, my big gear on, which is the most protection that I can have, but I also don't really like the aesthetic of it, so I'm gonna switch back. This is my kind of gear, even if it doesn't give you all the all the bonuses you want. So I think I lost my souls on the bridge there earlier, but it doesn't matter. We took care of the Guardian, and now we can explore this little city without having a giant alligator monster trying to eat our booty. And generally, that's a good thing. This place is just so pretty. Good thing we have that doll. We can now pass through. And a little bonfire to start us off. This city seems pretty empty. Maybe we can have a smooth good old time here without any complications whatsoever. I wouldn't bet on it. Rowing blue moss clump. Probably to prevent some sort of freeze effect. Well, guys and girls, this feels like a good way to, a good place to end the episode. Oh, it's so beautiful here. So in the next time, we're gonna walk in a winter wonderland, and we're gonna explore and have a good time. But until that day comes, have a still good day, take care, and stay awesome. But most important, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.